powers which might otherwise be fleeting. And it is, it is disastrous uh, what a terrible time we are doing uh, uh, in uh, breeding literacy. This little book came out in 1996. We'll talk about it in a moment called The Lexicon, a cornucopia of wonderful words for the inquisitive word lover, William F. Buckley, Jr. Norwell, Massachusetts. Go ahead, please. Mr. Buckley, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank and, you. Uh, <clears throat> I've heard you describe yourself as a Georgist, follower of Henry <laughs> George, but I haven't heard much uh, in, uh, in uh, having you promote uh, land value taxation and his uh, theories, and I'm wondering uh, uh, why that is the case. It, it's, it's mostly because uh, I, I'm beaten down by my uh, right-wing the theorists and intellectual uh, friends. Uh, they always some, some find something wrong with a single tax idea. Uh, what I'm talking about, Mr. Lamb, is uh, Henry George who said, look, uh, there's uh, infinite capacity to uh, increase uh, capital and to increase labor, but none to increase land. And since wealth is a function of how they play against each other, land should be thought of as common property. The, the effect of this would be that if you have a, a parking lot and the Empire State Building next to it, the tax on the parking lot should be the same as the tax on the Empire State Building because you shouldn't encourage land speculation. Anyway, I, 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 I've run into tons of situations where I think the single tax uh, theory would be uh, applicable. We should remember also this about Henry George. He was sort of co-opted by the socialists in the 20s and in the 30s, but he was not one at all. Albert J. Knox, a book on him, makes that plain. Plus also, he believed in only that tax. He believed in zero uh, income tax. And you the board. No, no. I, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm going to ask you about this little book, which I'm uh, fascinated about. I'm going to see if you can remember how to pronounce the uh, word, the fear of having peanut butter st uh, stuck to your, the roof of your mouth. It's This little book starts off, and, and the fellow's name is, uh, is it Jesse Shield Lower? Lower? She I think so, yeah. S-H-E-I-D-L-O-W-E-R. Uh, uh, you know Renny? No, no, no. At the beginning, he says, the first time I met William F. Buckley, we were both members of a televised panel discussing words. The, well, moderator, the uh, moderator introduced me with a pop quiz to test my credentials, asked me to define the word. Is it Yusufruk? Yusufruk, yeah. I felt smug as I recited the right to employ another's property as long as you don't damage it. Then Mr. Buckley leaned into his microphone and quoted an entire paragraph on Yusufruk from the political economist Henry George. Oh, for heaven's sake, sir. And this little yeah. book has the land belongs to those in use of right. Do you have you did you write all these little definitions out in this book? No, no, no. Those are definitions taken from my text. From your text. Yeah, that, that's that's the whole idea of that book. I mean, right to, out of your to, book to take words that have been used <laughs> and supply the context in which it was used. All right. What's